The first story of the day, I want to talk about Jack from Twitter, Eastern philosophy and Buddhism really quick. Uh, I think it all ties together in an interesting way. And maybe Jack from Twitter will see this and hopefully consider what I'm saying. So if you guys don't know, the CEO of Twitter is Jack Dorsey. He's super liberal. Um, you know, I think he's a nice guy. I'm sure if we got coffee or something, we'd agree on a lot of things. And he's been promoting Eastern philosophy for like a couple months now. And he went on this whole tweet rampage, I'm going to tell you. Not rampage in a negative. It was nice. But he went to Myanmar for his birthday. And he's promoting vis Vispasana, which is like a Buddhist technique of knowing yourself. You know, he had like eight tweets in a row about Buddhism and, and knowing yourself. So here's... I took the best parts of it out so I don't bore you guys. Uh, he's talking about, you know, his philosophy that he's finding, CEO of Twitter, how do I stop suffering? That's a lot of what Buddhism's about. You don't want to suffer. Hacking into the deepest layer of your mind and reprogramming it to take out pain and pleasure and realize that pain and pleasure is not permanent. It's living in the present moment, you know, understanding this meditation, focusing on breathing, ending attach attachment. A lot of Eastern philosophy like Taoism and Buddhism, they think pain comes from being attached to things. You know what I'm saying? Expectations and attachments. So, you know, he's he's talking about all these things and I found it very, very interesting for two reasons. First off, uh, hopefully Jack sees this, but um, first reason I find it interesting is because I am very inspired by Eastern philosophy. I think it's very wise. I think it's very kind and I think it's a good mindset, but I'm also intrigued because None of the qualities that Jack from Twitter is promoting on Twitter are liberal qualities. This is why I find myself more libertarian and conservative leaning now, uh, because I, I always say, change yourself to change the world. It all starts internally with your mind, your spirit. You know, whether you're religious, you're not religious, you believe in it. I think it's a good mindset to have. And I, I just don't see it on the left. Like I, I tweeted him and I said, brother, I appreciate that you're posting Eastern philosophy and trying to wake people up to the to their mind and their soul or whatever. But it's like what part of liberalism that you promote on your website, what part of modern day liberalism has anything to do with the qualities that I just told you, which is uh, stopping suffering by not being attached to things, not uh, expecting things, you know, being appreciative, being grateful, living in the present moment. There's none of that in liberalism, modern day liberalism and like especially Twitter culture. I mean, Twitter has one of the worst cultures on as far as like their staff and their news sites and what they promote. It's all about not being grateful. It's all about not living in the moment. They're living in the past. They're living in the future. They're trying to destroy everybody's life constantly. They have no sort of gratefulness and appreciation. They have no self-responsibility. They have no self-awareness. They have no self-accountability. They have no hacking into the deepest layer of their mind and programming it to take away from pain and suffering. They do the exact opposite. Uh, modern day liberalism and you know, especially Twitter, like extremist far left culture, they hack their mind to be offended by everything. They do the opposite of what Buddha taught. They did, did do the opposite of what Jesus taught. They did do the opposite of basically Eastern and Western philosophy and spirituality. Nothing w what Twitter does lines up with anything this guy is saying. I mean, nobody on, I'm not saying nobody, but that's why I always, I always say on my cast, I don't understand why like spirituality and like this Eastern philosophy that Jack's teaching, it's very popular in liberalism. Like everybody's doing yoga, everybody's doing meditation, everybody is reading Eckhart, Eckhart Tolle, you know, and it's great. I mean, but that's why I don't understand. Like, how could you read that? How could you do yoga and meditation and go for a week and live with monks and talk about ending attachment and suffering and living in the present moment and appreciating what you have and, and stop like feeling offended by everything? Like, How do you take all that in and then become a liberal and promote what Jack from Twitter promotes? I literally, I like can't fathom it. Like, does he not realize that none of those qualities are lib like liberalism is the opposite and instead of being disattached and understanding that pain and pleasure is temporary and understanding that you control the deepest layers of your mind. Liberalism is victim mentality now. The, it, Twitter is all victim mentalities. How can I feel sorry for myself? How can I weaken myself? How can I do jumping jacks to be hurt and feel pain in places that there aren't? How can Rudolph make me mad? How can I be mad at candy canes and straight white men and Jesus? I'm going to try to me too God. It's like 
I just don't understand. And, and, and I hope Jack sees this because I, I know he's a good person. I, I'm not saying, you know, whether you're, you believe in Christians, Christianity or spirituality or atheism, whatever you want to believe in, you know, uh, it doesn't matter to me. Like, I'm not trying to overpower your, your own beliefs. But I personally, I really do like what Jack is preaching. I just don't, I can't fathom how he doesn't understand that he's not that. His website is the opposite of that. And modern day liberalism, I'm going to talk about it later uh, in more depth, but how it doesn't correlate. And that's my big beef and a lot of people's beef. I'm going to, I'm going to get more into this with my last segment because I'm talking about the left and right uniting against political correctness. But I've always been very intrigued how uh, so many people on the liberal side are interested in Eastern philosophy, but they don't actually follow the principles. And that is, like Jack said, living in the present moment, focusing on breath, focusing on what you do have, uh, understanding that pain is temporary, not being attached to certain things. Um, I just can't think of a more opposite thing than, than, than the news that Twitter preaches. So without spending too much time, I want to say, Jack, you know, yes to the philosophy and spirituality that you're promoting. I, I feel you, my brother. But at what point do do people like him admit that, you know, a huge portion of their political ideology, and I'm not saying the right is perfect, but admit that they don't follow any of that stuff. Like, I, I just, uh, I can't fathom it. But I'm going to move on. I don't want to waste too much time on that. Second story of the day, I want to talk about France, Belgium, and